samedi soir. To all the officers that have been involved, uh, led by the Customs Area Controller, and uh, all these officers and men who have uh, worked with him uh, day and night, I understand that even during the last uh, uh, meeting that we had uh, with uh, NDLA uh, last week, uh, uh, they've started the process of monitoring the movement of these containers, and uh, we're happy that it has ended this way. I also want to commend the uh, officers of NDLA uh, who have been magnanimous uh, in sharing the intelligence they have, and they have cooperated uh, with uh, customs to ensure that collectively we are able to share this today. You might recall that in recent months, the Nigeria Customs Service has reported a number of successfully executed multiple interceptions and seizures of illicit drugs, arms, and ammunition at various locations. This represented a concerted effort to prevent illegal entry into our country through diverse routes and means of conveyance. These interceptions have brought to light a worrisome trend whereby criminal networks engage in collaborative attempts to sabotage and subvert the competency of our agencies tasked with mitigating the entry of such substances. Our actions underscore the persistent challenges posed by sophisticated smuggling networks, emphasizing the critical needs for enhanced cooperation and advanced strategies to fortify the nation's border and preserve the safety and security of our citizens. In recognition of the threats and the collaborative nature of criminal activities, 
Nigeria Customs Service has steadfastly prioritized strategic partnership with stakeholders over the past seven months. This deliberate focus aims to harness the specialized expertise of our partners in a manner that enhances our capacity to fulfill our core mandates. Just as criminals find strength in collaboration, government agencies must equally appreciate the advantage of working co collectively to fulfill their responsibilities. It is within this context that the ongoing collaborative efforts between the Nigeria Customs Service and the Nigerian Drug and Law Enforcement Agencies, NDLA, have consistently yielded positive results. This synergy ex exemplifies the effectiveness of pooling resources and intelligence, reinforcing the commitment of both agencies to safeguarding the nation's borders and protecting its citizens from threats posed by dangerous drugs. The interplay between illicit drugs and various criminal activities, including but not limited to kidnapping, banditry, and other nefarious pursuits is undeniable. Drugs often serve as a catalyst, creating a conducive environment for criminal elements by inducing a state of altered consciousness, popularly called INS. These substances provide the impetus for individuals to engage in heinous crimes that undermine the peace and the security of our society. Simultaneously, the possession of arms and ammunition empowers these criminal elements, enabling them to brazenly challenge the authority of the state and its security apparatus. The nexus between drug-related activities and the arming of criminal elements underscores the critical need for concerted efforts in combating both aspects to ensure the safety and well-being of our communities. Therefore, disrupting the link between illicit drugs, criminal activities, and access to arms and ammunition stands as a critical strategy in reducing the overall crime rates. Suppressing drug induced altered states and restricting criminal access to weaponry can significantly impact their operational capacities. The interception and seizure of illicit substances, along with stringent control measures over the circulation of arms, are integral components of an effective crime prevention strategy. This approach aligns with the broader goal of enhancing public safety and underscores our commitment to dismantling the foundations that sustain criminal enterprises, thereby fostering a more secure environment for our citizens. We are therefore pleased to provide an update on the outcomes of, of this collaboration, particularly the ongoing one with the NDLA, resulting in the successful interception and seizure of various illicit substances and these seizures, as we have seen, include the following. One, 65 packets of Colorado Indica, weighing 32.5 kilograms, seized from one by 40 footer container, number UACU 534833-6, imported from Canada. And that's the one we saw lying behind here. The second one, is a seizure of 17 packets weighing 16.69 kilogram, confirmed to be cocaine, 151 packets Colorado Indica, weighing 107 kilogram, one piece Gen 2 air soft pistol with serial number 471908, empty magazine, 49 rounds of 7.62 millimeter live ammunition, 197 nine millimeter live ammunition, some percussive uh, percuss chemicals for the manufacture of crystal methamphetamine, eight bags weighing 25 kilogram of tactic acid, 100 kegs of unspecified substances, which were all seized 
from another container, the second one behind us, container number MSSCU458177-0, which was also imported from Durban, South Africa. The third is 40 packets weighing 39.7 kilogram, which has also been confirmed to be cocaine. 1,026 packets weighing 688.2 kilograms, confirmed to be Colorado Indica, and two pistols with, without serial numbers, and one pistol with serial number AZYSRA. 6YSO121011181. And they are accompanied by three empty magazines, 275 rounds of 5.5 milligram table live ammunition, six rounds of 9 mm blank ammunition, which were all seized from the third container, a 40 footer container, number THRU7968. 807 slash 1, which was also imported from Durban, South Africa. The fourth consists of 226 packets weighing 128 kilograms, substance confirmed to be cannabis indica, seized from one by 40 footer container. Number MEDU 785276-3, which was also imported from Durban, South Africa. The summary of the seized substances is 56.39 kilograms of cocaine, the street value of 2,368,000,000. Three hundred and eighty thousand naira only. Nine hundred and fifty-five kilogram of Colorado Indica, which is also valued at one point nine billion naira, with a total street value of four point two seven nine billion naira. The summary of the weapon seized is five pistol and 445 rounds of live ammunition and several empty pistol magazines. We will persist in extending intelligence, network, and capacities, both nationally and internationally. The collective objective of this is to thoroughly eliminate these criminal elements, ensuring the society is rid of their detrimental influences. As I conclude, I want to appreciate your presence once again at this critical press conference, where these seizures of illicit drugs, arms, and ammunition have been highlighted, revealing the persistent challenges posed by sophisticated smuggling network. Our collaborations have proven effective in pulling resources and intelligence to safeguard our borders. We will be committed to dismantling the foundations that is sustaining these criminal enterprises ensuring a more secure environment for all Nigerians. Ongoing investigations underscore our dedication to holding those involved accountable. And moving forward, we will remain dedicated to enhancing these collaborations, both at the national and international level, to eliminate criminal elements and foster a safer society. That this handing over of seized illicit drugs in custody of the Nigerian Customs Service is a development that speaks volumes about the hard work and diligence of security agencies taxed with, this, taxed with securing the territory of our country. The seizure is a testament that just like the airports, the seaports are also secured. I will in the same vein express my appreciation to the leadership men and officers of the Nigeria Customs Service for the collaboration between the service and the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLA, not only at Tinkan Island Port here, but across all areas of our respective responsibilities where we need each other to work in the best interest of our country. I will also seize this opportunity to commend the officers and men of the Tinkan Command of NDLA and other special units, including our K-9 unit, involved in the processes leading to these seizures for their steadfastness since we received intelligence weeks ago from our international partners on the containers from which these drugs were recovered at this departed the port of loading. 
The command and other units had diligently tracked the movement of the containers up to the time of their landing in our port. In the spirit of interagency collaboration, NGLE never hesitated to share intelligence with Inca Island Command of the Nigerian Customs Service and also requested that the command ensure the containers were pinned down for 100% examination. That we are here today doing this, it is testament to the cooperation we received from the Nigerian Customs Service. This level of cooperation between NDLA and Customs, as well as other security agencies and port stakeholders, is a strong signal to drug cartels that our ports, and indeed Nigeria, will not be a, a haven for them for their criminal business.